is <clears throat> to announce to you that our chief patron and godfather, Dr. G. Alexander, is no more. Alexander, sir, passed away yesterday evening on, 20, on 14th January evening at 7.30. His grand daughter's husband told me that Alexander, sir, gave him a call telling he has got breathing problems. So he rushed up to his house in Indranagar. By the time Alexander, sir, was gasping, they just walked him towards the car and they found his collapse. Before he could reach Jinmaya Mission Hospital, he is no more. Dr. J. Alexander, born on 8th August 1938 in Kollam in Kerala died on 14 January 2022 in Bangalore, was a retired IS officer, former chief secretary, and I was our Indranagar local MLA, and cabinet minister for Karnataka state, born in Mankad in Kollam district of Kerala state, in a middle class family, one out of seven children from John Joseph and Elizabeth Joseph. His early education was in Kollam until he finished a BA in English language and literature. He did his MA in English literature from University College Trivandrum and did his PhD in philosophy from Karnataka University. Our association with Dr. J. Alexander goes back from 1988, that's some 33 years back. Not even once he knew to say no to me. There was no relationship between me and him. Neither we were friends, neither we were relatives. Neither he asked me even once from where I came from, what religion I belonged to also. He has been just watching me. He has just been a witness to all my programs. Many things we learned from him. I used to think he was Alexander Great in an avatar, and he was real avatar. Alexander Great went to conquer the world, but this Alexander, the J. Alexander, Dr. J. Alexander, conquered the hearts of my children. I was always aggressive, and he used to always tell me, if you have any problems, just give me a call. Don't take things into your hands. That's how the school was built up. He used to love my children. When he was MLA, he used to walk in front of the school, enter the office and ask, call my children for a coffee or tea. Deeply involved, he never ever once told me whether I should run the school or not, or take more children. Whenever there is problem, I used to go to Premila Nesirgi Med, another BJP ML, and uh, I could teach, I could uh, senior lawyer. And Madam used to tell me, we'll take a, file a case and take a stay order. After listening to Madam, I used to go to Dr. J. Alexander and he used to tell me, do you have the time for court cases? You just give me the number of that person who you have problems, I'll speak to them. Just one call, yes, problems, but just one call. I heard the call, people can make a call and problems are solved. This is my first experience. Materials came from London for my blind children. From the Royal Institute of, of Royal Institute of for the Blind. Royal Institute for the Blind. Yes. We booked it through Honeywell computers were supporting us. It was 
two or maybe one lakh or two lakh worth of orders from London, Great Britain, materials came to the airport. When you went to take the materials, they were putting up a duty charge. First, they said 4,000 rupees. When I took the 4,000, they said 8,000, 8,000 to 16,000, 16,000. When you reached 32,000, I couldn't bear it. So I went to Dr. G. Alexander's house. And he was telling me, why did you go directly? You should have told me. So whenever I go, I have to carry the telephone number. So I took the telephone number of the deputy commissioners who were in charge. He just made a call and said, I know Mr. Rakum, he stays right across me. You have any problems? You just ask me. And from the other side, I could always hear, sir, sir, sir. Almost every office, he worked as a chairman in 35 departments. Almost every junior member knows Dr. J. Alexson because he gave helping me at least. And instantly, they asked me to come. When I went there, they in fact collected 32, 32 or 34,000 rupees from all the agents, donated to the blind girl I've taken, Geeta who was with me. And he said, Master Ji, why did you go to jail? I said, we should have left. <laughs> Several instances. Once I went to one director general of police, I don't want to mention his name. He was a lawyer also. 13 cases have been charged on me. I went to him and he wrote 13 replies for 13 uh, points which were sent to me by the department. <laughs> I took it, then I went to again to Dr. J. Alexander. He just tore all the 13 pages into the dustbin and he just wrote one single line. You have, I have put up an application, please respond to the application. He said, the only one thing you should know is you have to inform the authorities. It is their duty to give you permission or not permission. If they don't give permission, they are at fault. Why should we reply to unnecessary questions? And then he asked me to go to the chairman. And I went to the chairman, he was very angry. It was a multiplex, it was a multiplex compound. I went there, the chairman was shouting, you send your notice, you have not responded. I said, just one, one single line, you give me a letter. He said, the, your style. I said, just one phone call, sir. one minute. I gave the phone to him. And from other side, J. Alexander said, I am J. Alexander. The chairman started telling, sir, sir, sir. He sorted out the case. It's not that I make mistakes. I don't make mistakes. I'm protective of my children and my school. And he knows I don't go to disturb him. What I'm trying to tell is Alexander the Great went to conquer. He, without going to conquer, he conquered so many hearts. He doesn't know who we are, who my children are, but not a single instance where we could go to him and he just gives a helping hand. We miss him a lot. His style was just a phone call is enough. When I first purchased the first building in Indranagar, I called him. He said, I am driving from Tamil Nadu towards reaching Hosur. I said, around what time you can do? He said, around six o'clock. He said, what's it? I said, a small building I purchased. He reached around 6.30. That was my first building in Indranagar, the boys sourced him. He came there, he saw it was ground, basement, ground floor, first floor. Second. He said, I can't believe you purchased such a big building. He inaugurated. Of course, we had trouble with the neighbors. And he used to tell them, Rakum is doing a wonderful job. Are you traveling? Just one single line and people just follow us. Been a great supporter for all my... Uh, stabilization of the school. We miss him a lot. I couldn't believe. I always used to think we are doing a lot of exercises. This man without any exercise is always looking young. Though he's 83 years old, he looked very, very young, always smiling. And just 
one single line. Many of the ideas which is run in the Rakum school is was his ideas. When there is a problem, he used to tell, just shut down everything. Don't complain, don't explain. This too, I always made sure. If you don't enter into a fight, I will solve the problem. So whenever there is a problem, we used to lock down in the school. So we don't have to explain to anybody till the problem sorts out. Sort. Yesterday, my kids went to MG Road, two of the high school teachers. They were IAS aspirants and I was waiting for them, telling the lockdown, the curfew starts at 10 o'clock, please rush back. So I was waiting for the Ola car to come. I saw a message. Meanwhile, my Kawasaki Bajaj was in Kenkiri, my old 1990s and Kawasaki Bajaj sent it for the repair of the engines. That is also coming by another porter vehicle. So I was sitting in the reception of my ashram in Devinali. I got a call from Lakshmi Venkatesh. I, by the time Lakshmi Venkatesh sent a send message, I was typing some message back and I couldn't pick up the call. Suddenly I saw a message in Sri Rakum school for the prime. I opened it up. I was shocked. The jail is sent a service number. So I took my car, rushed up. I went to Chinmay Mission. I was lucky that they allowed me to see his body before they put it in the mortuary. Rest in peace, Dr. J. Alexander. We miss you.